Those eight murders happened during the baseline killer's crime spree. Tonight, the terror is over. He's on death row. But we're asking you to look at the faces of these victims. As we reveal, there is DNA evidence, which some say could have stopped the killings, rapes, and robberies much sooner. It's a special ABC 15 team investigation. And we begin with ABC 15's Christopher Sign and the bombshell he's breaking in this investigation. This really could have and should have and very easily been prevented. Prevented, attorney Mark Victor says, if key evidence wasn't sitting in a crime lab freezer for months. They just simply dropped the ball. February 2006, detectives labeled this scene as crimes 17 and 18, dubbed the lunch truck murders. Two dead, one was Alvin Hoag's wife. That was a, a, a shock for me. They just had twins. We decided to have one and, you know, God blessed us with twins. What can I say? I was, I was happy. His wife, Romilia Vargas, was shot in the head. She never even got to the hospital. I mean, uh, so she didn't have a chance. But Al believes she didn't have to die. Here's why. Six months earlier, in September 2005, Phoenix police collected DNA from the body of a rape victim in this South Phoenix park. The DNA from Mark Goudeau. But police, Mark Victor says, wouldn't test the DNA for almost a year. There were actually eight people murdered during that time frame that would not have been murdered had Mark Goudeau simply been taken into custody. Here's what happened. They take the right breast swab and they order those for testing at the Phoenix Crime Lab. The left breast swabs are not sent for testing. They're put in the freezer. One swab, he says, is inconclusive. The other sits idle. The crime stack up. The scene tape rolls out and the search continues with, as Victor says, a bombshell sitting in the lab. Mark Goudeau's DNA was already in the system from a 1991 robbery and kidnapping conviction. So when the swab was finally tested, bam, match right to Mark Goudeau from that left breast swab. After that, the rest is history. They go out, pick up Mark Goudeau. End of the case. Today, Victor represents five of the victims' families, including Al Hogue. They are suing the city of Phoenix. Have the Phoenix Crime Lab just tested it 11 months earlier? Mark Udo's off the street, and these murders don't happen. No matter what happens, my wife cannot be brought back. My boys will never know their mother. You tell them about their mama? I do. I try not to uh, bring it up on a daily basis, of course. It would be irresponsible for me not to find out what happened. For my boys. And now left thinking about the fonder moments of those killed at the hands of Goudeau. The love for her kids, uh, her cooking, uh, some other stuff I don't want to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> that corner on 91st Avenue in Lower Buckeye is still a dirt lot. The crime scene has faded, but the memories are vivid. I can't drive any place in, in that vicinity, go in that direction without everything coming back. I reached out to Phoenix police, but they told me they're unable to comment because of the pending lawsuit, which is standard procedure for them. Christopher Sign, ABC 15 News.